Welcome. My name is Heather, and this is another heartbeat type practice where we're going to pulse and flow and move and get into the congruence of the water like elements of the body. I just love doing practices like this when I have days where I'm feeling really rigid and um, unforgiving and unable to uh, bend a little bit with my decision making. So, a practice like this just allows me to really open up into the hardened recesses of my body and just allow some spaciousness and freedom to have, have warmth and, and uh, space within my world. So please come to a seated position. When you get there, if you're in the natural or normal or consistent way that you cross your legs, like I am now, change that direction. And then rock a little bit forward and back until you find the center of the pelvic floor. And now close the eyes because we're going to try and feel rather than think our way into the length of the spine. So continue to just shift and rock forward and back. Start to connect the vertebrae to stack one on top of the other. As you come into the neck, find a softness. And then when you're there, when you reach all the way out through the crown of the head, let your breath give feedback to the alignment of the body. So breathe consciously. And does that move fluidly? Add a very, very subtle circular movement just around the axis of the spine as you're breathing here. Let the pelvic bowl have some flotation. Allow the heart to have some flotation. And then right where the roof of the mouth is, let the midbrain float. And now from here, bring the hands in front of the heart, but take your awareness deep into the seat of the pelvic floor into the low, low dentian. And we'll om from here. Breathe in. Place the hands onto the knees, take an inhale here, lift and lengthen the spine, and now very visibly exhale and rotate the torso forward and across the body. And as you breathe in, drift the body up and back. And keep the eyes closed. Notice if the sinews of the hips and the low back, if it has space, if it has tension, the element here of Svadhisthana is water. So it is a very fluid and congruent movement in the body. And now top of the inhale, let there be a micro pause. And as you exhale, circulate the torso forward and across the opposite way. Notice the response in your low back. Feel the feeling tone of your body. Is there resistance? Does it feel hard? Does it feel smooth? And all of this observation is with a real curious mind. There's no judgment. There's no has to's, no should be's. We just leave that at the door when we come into our practice. Top of the inhale, take a pause, sit tall, and as you exhale, ground down. Now take the left hand onto the earth beside you and as you breathe in, float the right arm up and across. 
ground down through the right knee, anchor it further down. And now inhale, reach up with the right arm. And as you exhale, right hand to the earth. And then breathe in left arm up and exhale across. So these lateral edges of our body, they're the first to sort of create rigidity as we mature. And oftentimes when we start to move and, and tap into the length of the side body, you can feel sort of this groan from deep within that wants to come out. And if that's you, let that happen. Sound is a beautiful way to release tension. Next inhale, draw the body up. You're going to finish on the right side. Come right across. Breathe in, come center, and exhale. Just breathe out. Transition onto all fours. <clears throat> Okay, when you come onto all fours, just move spontaneously. So you might find that a little barrel roll by coming down and arcing the spine up feels really therapeutic in your body. You might prefer to rock back and lay forward. So you're just giving some space for the intuitive mind to lead the body. Let the healing principles and the inherent ability to know what to do that comes with the layer of the body to do what it does best, and that is to heal, to support, and to replenish. Eventually, let your experience take you into Adha Mukha curl the toes, lift the knees, draw the body back. Softly pedal your feet. And again, you can add just a little bit of a twisting sensation by bending one knee, lengthening the opposite, getting into the lateral edges. So water will always find a path to ground down. And when we honor the 70% makeup of water in our body, then life starts to flow just a little bit more smoothly. Walk the feet towards the hands. Take an Uttanasana pulse. So as you breathe in, come into Ardha Uttanasana, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. And this repeats. Breathe in, lift up halfway. Exhale, surrender. Take one more, just like this. And then draw down to the feet, so just like water moving down, but then it also draws all the way up to the sky. Bring the hands right into the heart, take a deep breath in and a long breath out. New position, give your body a chance to acclimatize. And now take the right ankle and step it behind the left foot. So be on the ball of the foot, reach the arms up, Take the left thumb and first finger, bind it around the right wrist, and then lift up and lean over to your left. Find a spot, a drishti on the floor to focus. Breathe here. Inhale, come all the way up, uncross, recross the opposite way, and also rebind with the wrist the opposite way. Lift up, get that length in the spine, and then start to direct yourself across. Spread the heart through the shoulders, lengthen the spine, breathe. Inhale, take the body all the way up, and as you exhale, fold right into Uttanasana. So we're coming into Surya Namaskar A. Breathe in, lift and lengthen halfway. As you exhale, hop or step the feet back. Come into Chaturanga. Inhale, draw the body up. Thread the heart through, lift up. Now liquefy, lift underneath the rib cage, wave the body over and come into Adha Mukshvanasana. A little bit of movement, just pedal the feet. Inhale and exhale. Take the right leg, breathe in, lifting up. And as you exhale, peel the hip open. Redirect the shoulders to square. Root the left leg down, and now just extend that bent knee, and then curl it back in. 
Feel how you can also shift the femur in the socket. So if this isn't enough movement for you, pull the knee down into the chest, slip it side to side, peel it back open. So I'm just giving sort of parameters and guidelines for the practice, but feel free if there's a creative or a spontaneous movement that starts to open up in your body, by all means, let that guru lead you. Right leg down, breathe in, left leg floating up. Again, peel the hips open, bend the knee. Lengthen and extend that leg to start. And then see if there's an invitation to go deeper, swivel the leg through. Reminding ourselves that everything grows from water. Without water, there is no life. Release the leg down. Full breath in and out. Gaze will then look forward. Hop or step the feet up. Breathe in, lift halfway, lengthen. Exhale, supportively release down. Breathe in, draw the body up like you're sipping yourself to a standing height. And now exhale, guide the hands through. Breathe in, pull water up through the roots. Exhale, cascade the body down. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, hop or step back. Flow into Chaturanga. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, wave back. All right, so from here, getting a little bit playful if you want to come along. So walk the feet in until your heels reach the mat. Breathe in, take the right leg lifted up. Peel it open just like we did. Redirect the shoulders to square. Keep those, the toes of the back foot, keep them spread open. And now your drishti, your gaze is going to look between the hands. And now very consciously pull up through Mula Bandha, in through Uddiyanda Bandha, and see if left hand can bind with right foot. It's a little bit like trying to do something in a mirror. You're trying to find that foot and it keeps sort of flaking away from you. Bring that right leg down. Take a full breath in and out. So whether it worked or not, just let that go. And then play with the opposite side. Take the left leg, reach it up. Bend the knee, drop the heel towards the glute, square the shoulders, look between the hands. And then the key here I find is patience. If you try and rush it, you're going to tip. So slowly come onto fingertips of the right hand. Then come back, bind if you can. Sweet. Exhale, release, come back into Adha Mukha So whether it worked or not, we let it go, we move on. Water clears, it creates a new moment. Gazes forward, hop or step up. Breathe in, lift and lengthen. Exhale, rooting down. Plant the feet, expand through the arms, rise up. Exhale, take the hands to the heart. One more time, breathe in, reach up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Lengthen the spine, come halfway. Step the feet back, come into plank. Lower into chaturanga. Breathe in, rise up. Exhale, wave the body back. Softly walk the feet out. Now, if there's any movement or any options that you want to play with here, feel free. Final time here, I'm going to lead us into one more. Breathe in, take the right leg up. Now this time, keep the hips square. So you're not going to peel the right hip open. You're going to keep the hips square, but now take the right leg out to the side. So in alignment with the hip and even see if you can look at that right foot. Oh, and it can get a little pinchy right in the crease of the hip. And so that's oftentimes a space that we need to add a little more light, a little more breath, a little more water. Exhale, release that leg down. Breathe in, left leg, reach up. Exhale, slide out. So keep the leg on that plane, toes towards the head, 
foot's on a horizontal and breathe. Exhale, release the leg down, gaze is going to look forward, hopper step the feet up. Breathe in, lift and lengthen, exhale, fold. Now really expand as you open the arms, lead with the heart, rise up. Exhale, bring the hands into the heart. Sweep the hands right behind you, widen the feet, interlace the fingers, lengthen the elbows, lift the heart. Now pull or draw the arms away from the spine. Plug the low rib cage in. Breathe in here, exhale, lift the kneecaps by drawing the thighs up and fold forward, inner thighs in, back and apart. Take one steady breath here. And now release the hands down, take an inhale, and as you exhale, take your left leg, step back. Come into a lunge position. Deep in that lunge, so come into a deeper bend in the front knee, but stack the knee over the ankle, lift the inner thigh up, breathe in, lengthen the front knee, exhale, draw back into lunge. Inhale, it's like you're sipping up through a pump, and as you exhale, you're releasing that pump back out. Take one more full breath. Contain the inner thighs towards each other. Start to stack the spine on top of itself. Take the arms up and overhead. Now ease out of that lunge a little bit so you can draw a tailbone down, pubic bone up, and then deepen the lunge. From here, we're gonna move into what's called victorious breath. So you're gonna take an inhale here, and as you exhale, make fists and pull and hug the elbows in. So lots of strength, breathe in up, Exhale, pull through. Use a long, slow ujjayi breath. Take three more pulses. And then the next time you float the arms up and overhead, bring them to the inside of your front foot, ground the back knee down, and take your left hand right off the mat and spiral it open. So you're opening shoulder and opening chest. Heel toe the front foot open a bit. Radha asana is how I like to call this. Now bind the hand and the foot together. Take an inhale, curl in a little bit, draw the tailbone down. Then exhale and thread the chest through, lay the head back, open up the back foot, and then inhale, tuck foot in, draw into a rounding sensation. Exhale, press and open. Take two more steady breaths here. All right, now walk the hands to the inside of the front foot. Walk into painted fingers. So bend on one knee, breathe in through center, bend on the opposite knee. So it's as though you are just allowing the depth of the body to guide the impetus and the rhythm of that flow. So if you feel a little bit more stiff, then you're gonna keep the body a little higher because you wanna stay in that rhythm. You allow the breath to create this metrodome and the body just follows. And now very tenderly draw yourself to the back of your mat. Come into a lunge position. Really make the fingertips active. That's your anchor system, the fingertips and the feet, and then it draws up through the legs. Inhale, lengthen the front knee, draw the nose down. Exhale and press. Inhale, draw, sip up, pull that pump into the body, and then exhale and release that pressure.
take two more steady pulses just like this. And now inner thighs hug in, they guide in towards each other. Slowly start to stack the spine. Ease up a little out of the lunge so you can adjust the bowl of the pelvis. And then keep that bowl steady and draw into your lunge. Inner thigh, lift that up, that will deepen your lunge. Take an inhale here, exhale, making fists, pull the elbows in and victorious breath, Ujjayi breath. It's as though everything is so powerfully hugging into this midline, you feel almost as though your feet want to lift up off the mat. Take three more like this. Now on your fourth one, rise up, exhale, root the hands down, ground down to the back knee, spiral the right hand open, let the chest and heart go too. Front foot opens. Bend the back knee, reach the top hand, that left hand to the back foot. Now as you pull the foot to the glutes, let the spine round a little bit. And as you exhale, let the foot fall away, but now the heart threads through, the head lays back. Inhale and exhale. So the water quality of the hips is very connected to the air quality of the heart. And so as we open the hips, it's inevitable that we will open the heart. And if we want to flow with compassion and grace, throughout our day, visualize water and air flowing together. Take one more full breath. All right, hands to the inside, back to the fun funky, walk through center, bend on one knee, breathe in, come to the opposite side. These types of practices I find are really great with your favorite tunes. Just plug them in and just allow the music to guide the practice as well as this recording. Walk the hands towards the front of your mat. Come into your lunge. From here, finish with a mini vinyasa. Come plank, flow chaturanga. Breathe in, rise up. Exhale, wave back. Gaze looks forward, hopper step the feet up. Breathe in, lift and lengthen. Exhale and fold. Expand through the arms, rise up, lift the heart. Align the head, align the spine. Come right back into center, and then just like a pool of water, be very calm, without a ripple, and breathe. All right, take the hands back behind you, interlace the fingers again, lift and lengthen. We're gonna come into humble warrior, so right leg, or pardon me, left leg will lift up. Exhale, step back. Take a Vera one stance with that leg, bend into a lunge, breathe in, lift up, exhale, come forward. Three little pulses or stay steady if you want to. So you're lifting and you're lowering, allowing the body to cascade to waterfall. Bring the hands through center here. Now come into spread foot forward fold. Bring the hands down and undulate the spine round it and then out the heart and flatten down. Again, breathe in, lift and round. Exhale, release. Take one more breath. Creep the hands, crab-like over to the opposite side. 
back foot grounds to a 45 breathe in rise up exhale right back behind you with the hands lift and lengthen through the spine exhale pour the body forward breathe in lift exhale release out so if the element of water is one that you find maybe has lost its touch with you see if you can find little rivers and streams to sit by see if you can drink more water during the day if you have the availability for a beautiful lovely bath in the evening with some epsom salts just find ways to connect with water take one more steady breath here walk the hands right to center back to a spread foot forward fold now option this time undulate the spine just how we did or those of you that want to take the liquefying of the body and move it into the legs and you have a practice of Shirshasana B come into that now you're going to plant the hands down take the head and anchor onto the mat shift the weight forward and lift the legs up and then when you're there allow the legs to float to drift to dance And then just how you came up, come on back down. Breathe in, rise up. Walk towards the front of your mat. Come into plank. Take a high or upward dog. This is a reverse vinyasa. Pop down into chaturanga, right into high plank and down dog. And again, find your groove. Pedal the feet, swivel the hips, breathe. Take one more steady breath in and out. Gaze is going to look forward. Hopper step the feet up. Breathe in, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Root to the feet, lengthen through the spine. Come right up to standing. Take the hands to the heart, close the eyes, breathe. Back into that ripple effect that ripple effect that leads into the calmer waters. Really nice. Okay, from here, we're going to play a little bit with some balancing work, some standing balancing poses. So bring the right foot down into the earth. Take the left leg and bend the knee. So you're coming into Nadarajasan, bind with the inside of the ankle, and then hug the inner thighs towards each other. Take the right arm and reach it up. Now this arm, this upper body, the pose is led from the back body, so push foot into hand, hand into foot, and the front body just follows to keep balance. It doesn't lead, it's the follower of the back body. Keep reaching with the heart, totally irrelevant if you fall in and out let the expression of the pose flow through you whether you whether you love this pose or hate this pose let the the expression and the energy flow through the body and then stay with it you're going to ground and soften the right knee and bring the right hand to the floor keep binding left hand left foot but now come into standing bow, you're stacking the left hip over the right, peeling the left shoulder open, opening up here. Really nice, pull in through the bandhas. So even though the body is static, you still have that Shakti energy flowing through you. Right into Ardha Chandrasan, lengthen the leg, float the top arm up. And then top hand comes down, back foot comes down. Breathe in, bend the knees, sweep the arms. Exhale, out the mouth with a ah. So really ragdoll, breathe in. Ah. A few more. Ah. 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 
and then come all the way back up exhale come into that centering energy that calmer energy whoo ground down to the feet if you feel a little bit lightheaded and then take your time slowly shift bring the left leg to ground down to root and then lift and draw up the energy of the earth to support you bind the right foot with the right hand and now from here take the left arm and reach up swivel that hand to the inside of the foot now lead from the back body hand into foot foot into hand lift draw forward micro bend the knees you come in So we don't have to tap into a really strong depth. We want to find that water like that creative Shakti energy, but we don't want to blow the fuse. And then soften the knee, bring the left hand down, stack the right hip over the left, press hand into foot, foot into hand, peel the chest, and now feel how hip and heart connect. They are not separate. If we do not have relationship with ourself, it's really challenging to have relationship with others. Extend that leg out, Ardha Chandrasan. Lift up. So even though, again, the body's still, but you can feel all these sensations moving in your body. And if you're getting a hot spot in the crease of the left hip, Draw that energy up and thread it through the ribcage and down the left arm. Exhale, back foot matches front, widen feet, bend knees, sweep up. Exhale, ragdoll out. A few more. Last one here. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Close the eyes. Long breath in, long breath out. Take a vinyasa to down dog, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. When you come here, take your left foot, step it in the center of your feet. And now take the right leg and lift up. Peel the hip open and come into wild things. So step that foot behind you. Lengthen out to the left leg, press the back body to the front body and arc the spine. Circulate the free arm. Take the body back. Now listen here, you're gonna take the right leg, lift it up. You're gonna plug it in towards the chest and ground it down onto the mat. And then tuck the left knee right in behind and sit back into Gomukhasan. Bring the hands onto the ankles. Press into the ankles, lift up, exhale, sit down. Right arm reaches up. Bend the elbow, hand to the back of the heart. Left hand comes in from behind. See if the fingertips connect. If they don't, that's fine. Now take an inhale here, and as you exhale, draw the top shoulder back. Align the upper palate over the spine. And now breathe in compassion and love into yourself. And as you exhale, radiate that compassion and that love out. Trust in the ripple effect, breathe in. Exhale, softly release the shoulders. Gently roll them around, one or two breaths. And then just how we came in, we come back out. The hands 
come down onto the mat. Take the left leg back, sweep the right leg up, and exhale, come down onto the mat. From the hip, take the left leg, reaching up. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Option, stay here or step back. You're lengthening the right leg, flatten it out, and then with a deep, deep honoring of your body, reach back, feel that length, and then circulate the free arm. So just as water likes to circulate, so does the body. Back body to front body. Make sure everything is connected. Everything is a part of the experience so that you don't feel weighted down in one area. And then with this free arm, it makes its way back to the mat. Take that left leg, snug it into the chest, lay it down, and then tuck the right knee behind you. And then slowly come to sit back. Place the hands on the ankles, lift and lengthen, get a little space, and then still point. From water into earth, left arm reaches up. Bend the elbow, find the back of the heart, support yourself with yourself. Right arm comes in from behind, bend the elbow. Fingertips connect, maybe they don't. Breathe in, lengthen the head, exhale, draw the shoulder back. And once again, from the support of the hand on the back of the heart, breathe into the back of the heart, draw in compassion. And then exhale, and almost like an inner sun, just let it radiate out. Full permission to shine shamelessly. Exhale, slowly release. Come out just how you came in. Lean forward. Bring the right leg back. Sweep the left leg up, opening up. Exhale and come back into down dog. <clears throat> Again, reverse vinyasa. Breathe in, come into high cobra or upward dog. And then pop into chaturanga. Press right back up into high plank. Really nice. Exhale down dog. Does your body want to move? Does it want to be still? Listening. Just like a soft, soft trickle of a stream. Listening. Breathe in. Take the right leg. Lifting high. Come into Kopitasana prep, so you're going to pull the knee through, place it to the outside edge of your right hand. Keep the back leg or back foot curled under. Walk the hands back. All right, now as you walk the hands back, you might get a little pinch in the spine. So from kidneys, ground down, root into tailbone, lift pubic bone. Breathe in here. Offer heart. Exhale. Slowly lower down. And now from the navel, pull up, round the spine, drip the head. And from the heart, lead forward. And then the next time you find yourself lowering to the earth, let the forearms come underneath the shoulders. Allow the forehead to find the mat, stack the palms, stack the fists, or lay the forehead right down. Now if you want, if you notice that the stillness is creating tension, softly shimmy the hips from side to side. So very, very subtle rocking sensation in the body it is very calming. It's very nourishing. It brings us back to the utero sensation. It's very primal. Mm -hmm. 
and then relax the upper shoulders. See if the arms can expand even more. And then slowly come on up. <clears throat> Bring the right hand center, bend the back knee, find hand, foot, foot, hand, and then if you want, pivot the hand and draw the foot in closer, or you can bring that foot right to the crease of the elbow. If you're gonna play with the balance, the outside edge of the front foot grounds down, bring fingertips, and you can float, front arm up and down, or you can come right into the stillness, right into the bind. Thread heart through, gaze looks up and breathe. Softly release, come right into Parigrasin. So swivel the right foot underneath the body. Guide the left foot flat and right hand to the earth. Breathe in, drip the left arm up, let it come across. And we're gonna pulse, so if you wanna stay steady, feel free, otherwise following along. Breathe in, come up, lift the toes of the, of the long leg and come right across. Inhale, you're coming up, and as you exhale, come back. And then if you want, stay with the lateral drift. If you enjoy back bends, either curl the toe underneath or bring right hand onto right heel and slowly circulate the left arm overhead. Keep drawing the tailbone down, keep lifting through the pubic bone, drawing in on the base of the lower rib cage. And then freedom through the breath. Free arm supports, lift the body up, windmill towards the front of the mat, and come into down dog again. Again, back to spontaneous movement, back to moving deliciously, moving with sensation, with consciousness. Left leg reaches up nice and high, open up, and then hug that knee in towards the chest and place it uh, to the outside edge of the left hand. Keep the back foot curled under, walk the fingertips back, and again, from the low back, from the mid back, ground down, and then draw up through the front body. So you can do the same pulse as we did last time, or just a different variation. Breathe in, reach the arms up and overhead, and as you exhale, back of the hands through, forehead to the mat. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, come back. And then the next time you breathe out, surrender the water down. Let it ground down into the earth. See if the body needs a little bit of rocking, a little bit of shifting from one side to the other. So if you prefer to be higher up, that's fine. For some, just a very, very soft, subtle movement, sometimes not even seen uh, visually, is the best way to relax and come into the depths of the postures. And then gently draw the body up. Take the left hand, place it center on the mat, ground down to the outside edge of your front foot, bend on the back knee, scoop the foot in, and either stay here or elbow to the foot, front hand lifts up and gently comes open. You can bind, you can just pulse the arm up and down.
and then we slowly flow again. We release the back leg. We swivel the left foot underneath, come into gate pose. So right foot is going to anchor down, left hand to the earth. Breathe and reach with the right arm coming across. Inhale, come all the way up. And as you exhale, lift the toes and come down. Inhale, rise, exhale, and extend. And then once again, you can stay in the drift. You can take this into a back bend. So left hand to left heel or curl the toes underneath. Draw up from the earth. Let it ripple through the water elements. Let it breeze through the heart and transcend through the spirit. The free arm comes to the low back. Gently draw the body up. Windmill the arms to the front. Send that leg up. Opening here. Gravitate the foot down and make your way onto the belly. So if you want, come into plank. And then as a collective, the whole body lowers all the way down. Okay, stack the fists, one on top of the other. Or sorry, hands, one on top of the other. Rest the forehead down and just shimmy the hips side to side. Bring the hands off the mat, but in alignment with your sternum. Fingertips to the earth. And then root down through, <laughs> hi little fly, root down through the tailbone, ground down through the feet. Breathe in, lift to just the low rib cage. I've been told the fly is actually a spirit animal. Exhale, lower down. Let's hope so. Breathe in, draw the body up. Exhale and lower down. Take two more pulses just like this. And then you can stay low, or I'm already doing it spontaneously. You can lift just a little bit higher, and then exhale and come down. So you want to make sure that you're anchored through the lower dimensions of the body. You're supple and relaxed through the upper. And now inhale, drift up. We're going to twist. So a serpentine cobra, right shoulder dips down, breathe in, float that arm up, exhale, left shoulder comes down, breathe in, rise up, exhale, right side. Get into the, there's these little congruence on the muscles and the bones of our body and when we originate, we originate from water. And so the marks of water stay on the outside edges of the bones and the muscles through their striations and their lines. Take an inhale here. As you lower, it's an internal ohm. And now this time, cheek to the side, hands alongside the body, palms up, rock the hips. Take a very passive and supportive wide kneed blossom. Forehead comes right down to the mat. Uh, soles of the feet together, knees are open. Gently draw the body up. Come to sit in Sukhasan. <laughs> Close the eyes. Root down. Breathe in. Palms flat onto the knees. 
So I love coming into poses that we did right at the start of our practice. We can really measure or just notice if there's been a shift, if it's consistent, what has changed, what stayed the same. So when you're ready, deep breath in here. And as you exhale, Sufi grind over to the right, flow through center, breathe in up to the left. And now from here, there's a deep, deep movement that we're working with. Keep the eyes closed, but slowly start to spiral in. So let that circulation be a little bit more shallow. And then more shallow still. Until eventually you're right on the axis of the spine. So almost like the whole body's still, but you're just moving through the musculature that parallels the vertebrae and then see if you can even spiral that up through the back of the neck through the occiput and through the crown of the head and then pause and be completely still Move in the reverse direction, but very softly first. So we're going to move from the tight spiral. And then slowly start to open that up. And just let the intuition guide as to when that energy should become more expansive until eventually you're back into the full rotations experiencing the glutes the low back the hips And then come right back into the still point, but see if you can feel that centrifugal force inside the body still moving. So the fluid body is moving on the inside, but the container on the outside is holding. And now gently fold the knees in, come down onto the back. So when you come onto the back, <clears throat> let the spine, neck and head form one nice long line. Bend the knees, let the feet come flat. Hug the elbows in close to the body or hug the triceps in close to the body, bend the elbows, put the palms up and now root down through the back of the arms. Keep the sitting bones rooted, but lift the low back Lift the mid back and create a lovely arch through the spine. Keep that arch root down through the feet and start to lift the glutes up just an inch. And now draw the musculature of the glutes in towards the body. So a little bit of um, flexion. And then root down even more through the feet, start to peel into a little bridge. Keep the inner thighs working. Breathe here. And then slowly start to pulse. You're gonna slowly round and lower down. Hands can stay lifted or come down. Slowly lift up, bring weight into the shoulders. Exhale and lower. Take one more pulse, just like this. Ground down, take your feet a little bit wider. So come into the edges of the mat, not quite, but close to. 
Again, press down, lift up. Now hold here. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, start to circulate the hips over towards the right. They hover above the floor, and then lift up through the left. Exhale over to the right, and up through the left. Top of the inhale, here's a pause. As you exhale, opposite way. And then gently lower all the way back down. Heel toe the feet back into hip distance. Pause, reground. Again, come into that little back bend. So if you want to come with me, we're going to work with Chakrasan. Float the arms up, bend the elbows, bring the hands alongside the ears, and you should see the elbows in your peripheral vision. Root down through the pads of the feet, lift up and come and put the weight onto the shoulders. From here, pop just onto the top of the head, take your elbows, hug them in, press your shoulders into their sockets, and now come straight up. Once you're here, feel free, take the right knee, hug it in towards the chest, and as you exhale, extend the leg up. Gradually release. Take the left knee, hug in, extend up, and release. Tuck the chin, come all the way down, draw the body flat, Hug the knees towards the chest. Softly rock from side to side. If the body is craving a second wheel, feel free to come into that now. Otherwise, bring the left foot down onto the floor. Wrap the right thigh around the left and then hook the toes underneath, so just like Garandasan eagle pose. And now take the legs as a collective. Your arms are going to come to a 90 degree bend. Back the hands on the floor. Take the legs as a collective and move them or slip them over to the right. Let the left hip go with the knees. Let it go, let it go, let it go. And then just as you're reeling in a fishing rod, gently draw the left hip away from the knees. Inhale, slowly direct the knees through center. Keep them just how they are, but drop the knees over to the left. Now you're coming into a twist, so bring the knees down. Lift the left shoulder blade, draw it out from underneath and ground the right shoulder blade down and look over the right shoulder. Breathe in, drift the legs up to center, uncross the legs, Supta Baddha Konasana for a moment. Lay the hands, one on the belly, one on the heart. Come into that water and air element. Guide the knees in towards each other. Keep the right leg rooted, wrap the left leg around, hook the toes, shift the legs this time over to the left, let the right hip go, let it go, let it go, arms to a 90 degree bend, cactus position, and then gently reel the right hip back. So it doesn't have to go far, you just want to create just a very slight opposition in the body. And then take two more breaths here. Okay, draw up. Come across to the right. 
This is your twist, so you're going to lift the chest up, take the right shoulder blade out, you might prefer a T position with the arms, and then gaze if you choose, looks over the left shoulder. Come back to center as you breathe in, so you're pulling those energetic cords in towards the body. Exhale and extend the legs out. Take a nice deep morning stretch if you need to here. And then let yourself, just like you're basking on the beach, let yourself be really expansive. Let the legs open up, let the arms open up. Let the exterior container of your body provide the support for the internal subtle body to flow. It inherently wants to flow. And as you're lying here, give full permission for your creative energies to have a voice for your intuition to have a voice and to relinquish the need to be in control and to soften into the rhythms, the currents and the rivers of life. Gradually, you're lengthening your breath. See if the body can pl stay completely still and just come into a deeper rhythm of your own breathing. I'm just finishing here with a soft quote. The river of the divine wisdom has gone underground. I now realize that although hidden from view, it is not lost. It is my hope that you find inspiration and support to navigate your way through the rapids. Float for long stretches when there is no end in sight. 
read the current, and trust that deeper pull to guide you. May you feel this wonderful circle of love inviting you to come home to your true nature and remember who you are. Powerful, peaceful, joyful, and free. It's from Linda Sparrow in the Yogini book. Creating some soft movement in fingertips and toes. Be really gentle with your nervous system and then slowly move organically. And then if you feel the calling for a deep stretch or hugging in the knees, then taking the time to do so. Come on to one side, find a moment to pause. Remind yourself to take your practice off the mat and into the world. And then when you're ready, guide yourself to join me in a seated position. Eyes can be closed, soft or softly just half open. So now bring the hands in front of the heart and the hands are just an extension of the lungs and the heart itself, so it's as though we are placing the heart in front of itself. So we have a feeling sensation here, but now take the mind's eye right into second chakra. And from water and air, breathe in, breathe out. And if you'd like to join me in an om, breathe in here. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.